Fox 17 Rock Interview. I'm with the very talented, my friend Tony T.C. Coleman. Played 32 years with B.B. King, on the road with Bobby Blue Bland, also played with Buddy Guy, and now you're playing with Jamie Johnson, the country star. Yeah, and it's and really been fun playing yeah. with Jamie. Uh, he's, he's very, he's very uh, interesting to work with because I never know what he's going to do until he does it. So. Well, just like when you played with B.B. King. Same you know, thing, uh, the exact same thing. You know, people ask after B.B.'s concerts, hey, can we get the set list? Go, uh, yeah, sure, if we have one. <laughs> Jamie's the same way. Well, I saw you so many times in concert with B.B. King, and, it, and it's hard to believe it, Tony, but this Saturday, May 14th, will be the one-year anniversary of Mr. King's passing. <laughs> yeah. And, um, uh, and you carry on his tradition. I know as the music director for the B.B. King Clubs, that uh, you're going to have a, a big deal going on here in Nashville as well. Well, we're going to celebrate his, his life all weekend, and which we do all year, but it's really going to be special because he's been gone from us for a year now, and it's something really difficult to get accustomed to, mm -hmm. him not being with us anymore. And uh, like all the great musicians that's passed on this year, it's really, it's really amazing to see that, you know, some, like, well, I'm still here, one of the younger guys to keep it going right. to pass it down to the next person. You know? Well, you know, and also, you know, I think what you do that's so great, Tony, to where you stay in touch with all of BB uh, King's band members and you and you pull them in and do different things. And and you were, we were talking about the documentary that, yes. that came out, and there might be another documentary coming out focusing on the band members. Well, well, <laughs> we're, we're, I'm looking forward to that because pe some people seem to forget that you know BB actually had a band that wasn't a band that he pick every tour with BB you're in the band until death do us part <laughs> exactly and that's exactly what happened with a lot of the musicians they passed on mm -hmm. but BB was the kind of guy like you're in my band you're in my band he right. didn't he, he didn't feel like he needed to change the musicians no because I mean he chose the best well, and, I, and he well, expected like the think, best. I'd like to think so. I know he expected the best. <laughs> and he got it. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, let's also talk about, you know, besides the celebration and everything, you know, you've got so much going on. You know, uh, you're going to have your own solo album coming out yes. this summer. I'm, I'm really excited about that because it's finally, I mean, I've had, you know, records out before, but now I'm finally getting the record that I want to present that's really Tony Coleman. Right. Uh, before I always tried to make it a little bit of more, a little bit more like BB or yeah. the other people that I work with, but this time I'm doing me. I've written songs that uh, things that I've experienced through life, and uh, it's it's still about the party and all of that. But it's Tony Coleman now. Totally, totally. Yeah. And I think your father would be proud. Now let's talk about it. Also, where can viewers, you know, where they're going to be able to find out about the uh, the new album and everything like that? Well, well, if you Google. Tony T.C. Coleman, you'll see my website, my Google, uh, my, uh, my, my space, uh, not my space, Facebook. Facebook. Uh, I love Facebook. the pictures you put on Facebook. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a selfish guy. I mean, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm blowing that Facebook thing up. It's ridiculous. I think I need to go Facebook anonymous. No, I, I like to see the travels. I think yeah. one of my favorite photos of you, Tony, <laughs> was when you were taking one of the Lucille's to another BB King club. And you were actually carrying it through the airport. Yeah, yeah. and I needed to call you because I needed a case. <laughs> exactly. And I didn't have a case. And, and I, I was going to New Orleans with the guitar, mm -hmm. and I, I was, it was too, too, uh, the flight was too early. I got the call that night, and I didn't have a case. And I, I was calling people, and they said, well, oh, man, I don't See, have a case. you got to call me next time. Yeah, so I just took it through the airport, and everybody was so cool about it. They were like, <laughs> that's actually Lucille. It's like, yeah, this is Lucille. Oh, it's incredible. Now, let's talk about, you know, you're with Jamie Johnson now, and uh, it looks like a great gig, and, and I saw pictures of you and Willie Nelson a week or so ago. Chris and, Stapleton. And, yeah, and uh, it's like, what, what, a, what a great and, uh, gig. And the musicians in his band, he's got some great musicians. I mean, it, and, but the band is not, it's not rigid. Nobody knows what we're doing. <laughs> I mean, Jamie just starts to play. And then everybody else is kind of like, I think it's this. Oh, I think it's that. <laughs> then we go, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> but that's great, though. It's I, what you're used to. Well, I, I, BB did that all, always. Right. B, and Jamie's just like that. They're, they're, they're true artists. I, I think it's really good to actually play the, the music the way you feel it mm -hmm. at that particular time. But if it's too rigid, tick, 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 tack, tack, pop. You know, the audiences are different every night. Right. I mean, you're not, you're not playing for the same people. So... Sometimes you have to throw some audibles, you know. 
Instead of this, let's do that. Well, you know, you know I think it's so great too, uh, Tony. It, it's a testament to your talent to where you're able to jump between different genres of music. You know, whether it's the blues, country, rock, whatever, you, you know, anything, any kind of music. And, and the thing about the country, the country thing is, it's, it's opened up my country roots because growing up, my grandmother raised me and she listened right. to country music all the time. I mean, she listened to George uh, Jones and Merle Haggard and who we just lost also. Right. And, uh, you know, I, basically I was being taught country music without even knowing it subliminally, so <laughs> to speak, I guess. And then now that I'm here in Nashville, some of my friends are saying, so you finally moved over to country. I'm like, <laughs> no, it's always been inside of me. And it's always but, you. You but, make it but, your own. But uh, what, I, what, I, what I've done is I've rediscovered country music, pure, what I consider pure country music, mm -hmm. not you know, the music where you mix disco or R&B right. or soul so much as it's really country. You well, know? and you've never been a follower of fads. I think you've always, you found the, the music that has a heart yeah, and a I soul. Like, I like root, roots, mm -hmm. roots music. M music that you pull the root out, it's got some dirt hanging <laughs> Speaking of which, I, I've heard rumor that you're gonna be uh, interviewed um, you know, on Access TV in the next week or so. And so well, I'm looking forward to seeing well, that. Well, you, you, you should have heard rumors because <laughs> you're the reason. He, he's the reason uh, that I'm doing that. Very small part. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, it, it's, it's going to be great to see you on that as, uh, you know, remembering B.B. King as well. And that you're carrying on the tradition with the, with the other band members and with everything you do. <clears throat> you know, uh, uh, a lot of people would look at it like, you know, this guy is just wearing B.B. out because he worked with B.B. or... Uh, He's trying to make a name for himself. I don't have to make a name for myself. I don't really care about that. I care about the legacy that B.B. left behind as a musician. Uh, I, I, I see a lot of people trying to play the blues, but they're, they're missing the main ingredients of it. And if guys like me don't teach and pass it down, it's going to be a watered down version of something that's going to be called ooze instead of blues. So, yeah. you know, uh, I think it's important to me to continue as long as I can to make sure the integrity is there when you play the blues. Uh, everybody has the blues, but we have a different way of expressing it. But there are certain ingredients that you cannot use to play the blues properly. Mm -hmm. So that's I think, where I come I think from. we're very lucky to have somebody like you to be an ambassador and carry on the, uh, the tradition that B.B. Uh, that King set. And I think it's great you're doing the event this weekend at the B.B. King Club here in Nashville. Yeah. And uh, be sure and check out Tony's new album coming out this summer. And if you're <laughs> looking for a great concert, go see Jamie Johnson. And you're going to recognize this guy on the drum set right behind Jamie yeah, rocking right. out those drums. Yeah, I'm sort of the only guy who looks like me. So. <laughs> Thankfully, right? <laughs> you're the best, Tony. The one and only Tony T.C. Coleman. And, uh, you know, you're going to have to come back on with me when you get that new album out. Absolutely. All right. It's always great to see you. Thank you, my friend. Thanks for watching The Rock Interview. Thank you.